Hey guys, Trent Zimmer here from Unity Tactical. I uh, wanted to show you a new product that we've been working on. This is a, a quick throw-on belt that can also be used as a battle belt. It has some pretty unique features about it. Uh, one, it's made out of two-way stretch material, uh, so it stays tight on you when you put it on. All of the cells have Velcro on the inside, so it allows you to use any Velcro back patch. For instance, you have uh, just Velcro sewn to elastic here, so you can use this for magazine retention inside the pouch. Like that, and then you can drop it in the cell that will stay in there. You can use just about any holster, uh, any Kydex that will fit within the cell. Uh, for instance, these are ITW Fast Mags, and they just have a little bit of a piece of back Velcro on them and stuck in there. We have uh, Black Point Tactical has made us some custom made holsters for it. This is for a Glock 19. And the holster stays in the cell uh, very well and it also creates some friction on your body. Uh, we have pouches that we're working on for multi tools that you can use to put in. Uh, pen pouches, baton, handcuff, radio type pouches, knives. You can even just take gloves, these are velocity gloves and just stick them in the pouch there. And we're gonna show you how you put this belt on. I just wanna highlight a couple of other features that it has. On the back of the belt, all of the cells have padding in between this non-slip and the belt itself. So this non-slip keeps it tight on your body and the padding just provides a little extra comfort. We also, this is one revision old, um, so it's changed a little bit, but we also have Velcro, soft side Velcro on every other cell that allows you to use a Velcro inner belt if you wanna keep it extra secure. It also allows you to pass through belt keepers if you want to attach it to a regular belt. The belt is very easy to put on. You just open up the retention flap, slides around, put a little bit of tension on it, lock it in with the Velcro, and then use the securing flap or the retention flap to cover it. In the front, we have an admin pocket uh, for notes or chem sticks or whatever else you may want to put in there. And as you'll see, even just putting it on like this, the belt stays on very tight. There's constant tension on it, so it's not sliding around, it's not moving around. If you do want to use an inner belt, of course we have the provision for that to keep it a little more secure. And you can configure all the cells however you want. Um, for instance, we have a full open med pouch here that allows us quick access to medical items while keeping them protected. And we have an Atom T1 in our holster here. In Glock 19 our holsters by Black Point. You can take any holster that you want that will fit in the cell, put self-adhesive Velcro on it, and slap it in there, and it's going to stay really well. Uh, everything remains in the cells with the constant tension provided by the fabric on both sides. For guys that want to use this in an active shooter as an active shooter setup rig, you can also put it straight over your inside the waistband holster. Here we've got an appendix inside the waistband, and you can just simply put the belt uh, you don it the same way, and you can put it right over your holster. Just like that. So you still have access to your secondary weapon. If you have a primary weapon, now you have all your support equipment for it. So you can use this belt in a variety of different ways. It can be used as a battle belt, as a quick response belt, for an active shooter, or just about anything you can do, uh, anything that you want to do with the belt. Of course, it's non-load bearing, so you can't use it in that capacity. Uh, but we're really excited to see what people are going to do with it. Uh, what inserts people come up with, and just how much utilization we'll be able to get out of it. This belt can also be used for non-permissive environment or low-profile work. If you hike the belt up a little bit to your waistline, it reduces the profile, keeps off your hips, keeps everything um, hidden. So if you're wearing even a light jacket or anything else, you can use this belt in that capacity. Um, and of course, you'll have to vary your load out and find out what works best and what fits best for your body, but can be used uh, in non-permissive environments for profile work, um, even with very light clothing. Another interesting feature about this belt is because we don't have a buckle up front, we use Velcro. Uh, you can wedge items between the Velcro here. So for instance, you can keep a blade up front for quick access, we can reach with both hands, or <clears throat> you can use a drop style pouch uh, for medical items, chem sticks, tourniquets, whatever else that you may want to put below there, just for added uh, real estate on the belt 